Next up for Manchester United is Everton at home. Wayne Rooney coming back to Old Trafford for the first time, not as a Manchester United player since he left in the summer and rejoined his boyhood club. No doubt he'll be in that starting eleven. But who's going to start for Manchester United? We've had Basel a few days ago. We've got Burton Albion coming up a few days later in the League Cup. It's the time of the season where Jose Mourinho's got to rotate and change his team. And here is who I think is going to start for Manchester United. In goal, one person who's not going to be rotated here is David De Gea. I think we'll see Sergio Romero against Burton Albion, but not against Everton. One player who was rested against Basel was Valencia. Ashley Young, to his credit, played fantastic at right back. Would you start Ashley Young here instead of Valencia? I wouldn't, but I'd certainly want to see a better final product from Valencia, who has the ability to be the best right back in the Premier League, but he just needs to improve his crossing. The rest of his game is fantastic already, but his final product is just not there. Now, centre-back partnership. Jose Mourinho has pretty much already said that he's going to go back to Bay and Jones. Victor Lindelof and Chris Smalling, for me, both a little bit shaky against FC Basel. But because they played against Basel, Mourinho will switch back to Bay and Jones, who up until that Stoke game hadn't conceded a Premier League goal. They were both at fault for goals in that game, but fingers crossed they'll get it back to the sort of form that we saw against Swansea, West Ham and Leicester. And at left back, I've gone for Matteo Darmian because Daley Blind has played against Basel and I'm rotating the team because I don't think that Blind can play every single match. So Darmian's back in at left back for me. So that's my back five. Midfield, there's certainly going to be changes because Paul Pogba is not fit to play. So alongside Nemanja Matic, as you can see, I've gone for Marouane Fellaini. Man of the match against Basel, certainly wouldn't be my choice to start here. This is my predicted 11. I would much rather see Ander Herrera alongside Nemanja Matic, but I just get the feeling that Mourinho is going to start Fellaini. Who would you start alongside Matic? That is the big talking point about this starting 11. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And for my front three behind Romelu Lukaku, who's definitely going to keep his place up front, I've gone for Jesse Lingard, Juan Mata and Anthony Martial. Jesse Lingard was the only player, I think, to play every single preseason game. Since the season started, he's been pushed to the bench because Mkhitaryan's been playing well, Rashford's been playing well, so has Martial. Rashford is currently, well, he's, I don't know whether he's injured or not, but he didn't start against uh, Basel, came on off the bench, sorry, and scored. But I think Lingard will start here. That's my own personal opinion. Again, this is the predicted 11, not my preferred 11. I'm going to put Mata in the middle. I'm going to put Martial out on the left. So I'm going to rest Mkhitaryan. I think Mkhitaryan was a little bit disappointing against FC Basel. Mata's been playing very well this season, but at the same time, Mkhitaryan's got five assists. So how can you even continue? How can you even consider, sorry, complaining about Mkhitaryan, so maybe he will play in this team. And I've gone for Martial out on the left, a player who I want to see starting out on the left pretty much every single game. Easily the best option we've got there, and the more games he plays, the better he will get. And up front, Romelu Lukaku, the man who is continuing to score goals. Ten goals in all competitions for Manchester United and Belgium so far this season. Six for Man United. He has started fantastically well to his life at Manchester United. And let's not forget... He's playing against Everton, the club he has left, the club who he has scored more goals than this season. Lukaku has scored more goals than Everton, imagine that. But Rooney's going to be back, Rooney's going to be pumped for this game. Don't be surprised if Rooney scores. But just as much as Rooney's going to be pumped, Lukaku's going to be pumped. So many question marks over whether he could do it in the big games. For me, this is the biggest game of the season so far. Let's see what Lukaku can do and hopefully he can deliver with a goal against his former club. That's my predicted 11 for the game, as always, ladies and gents. Drop a big like on that video. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. Love to have you in the community, so make sure you get involved. And we'll see you soon. Take it easy.